This is Yo Chicago at Perimeter Gallery in River North. And I'm with Frank Pollock. Good morning. Here at Perimeter Gallery in River North. We've been in this neighborhood for 25 years now. And uh, currently, uh, right now, your show is? The show, the show that we have up right now is Margaret Ponce Israel. This is an estate that we bought about 12 years ago. Margaret Israel was an artist uh, from New York City who was very influential there uh, among a number of groups, among the ceramic artists, among the pattern painters of the 70s. And uh, this is the third uh, survey show that we've done for her so far, which uh, has received a really good reception. And if you want to point us in the direction of her work, this is obviously something that Well, these are some works on paper by Margaret. Uh, these pieces here are from the mid-70s. Um, part of her background is Cuban, and um, so she has a great fascination uh, with flowers and gardens. And um, so a lot of this material that you're seeing here are floral portraits. Uh, as we move along a little further, you'll see some, a few of her ceramic works here. These are some uh, ceramic uh, vessels that she made. She also loved animals. She had a three-story uh, studio in New York. It was an old horse stable in downtown New York, and um, it was filled with animals, cats, dogs, birds. Uh, she even had a horse in there once about a time. So she likes to incorporate a lot of animal imagery in her work. I'm sorry, she passed how long? She passed away in 1987. Unfortunately, she was hit by a bus in Manhattan on her bicycle. She was very well known in New York City. Showed for many years there with a gallery called Courtier Extrum, which was up on the Upper East Side. Uh, this is probably one of the more significant pieces in the show. This is called the Doll Peddler's Cabinet. Uh, this is all ceramic. And again, I think this comes out of the uh, part of her Latin background, the sensibility for this material. And what is this uh, going for? Uh, this piece is $78,000. Now, because her studio uh, was in downtown and, and part of the studio was on street level, um, she used to love to sit in the window with Sumi ink and just do these gestural drawings of people walking by. Uh, this is one of those. Uh, she filled up many, many sketchbooks that uh, you'll see in the display case here. So uh, here we have another example of Margaret Israel's uh, ceramic work here, this uh, huge pot, um, another one of her works on paper, one of her floral pieces. As I mentioned a moment ago, she loved to sit in the window and do these gestural drawings of people walking by, which we call the Walking People series. Uh, here we have a few examples of that on the wall here. Well, this is one of the few canvases that we have left. Uh, this is a piece from uh, 1958, which is aptly titled Woman with Bow, uh, which was a very popular piece. We had a number of people who were interested in it. Tell us about this piece. Well, th there's a number of these in the uh, collection, and um, obviously when you look at this, you can certainly see there's some influence here from Matisse in this particular piece. I think also, again, the Latin sensibility brings out you know, these really uh, bright colors in her work. Yeah, well, this is, uh, I think, just a, a, you know, a, a exercise in abstraction there. 
that she has done. And then finally, we have another example of her ceramic here. It's interesting. What she's done here, too, is she, if you look inside this piece, you'll see that it's been repaired in a number of areas. And what she did is she made the piece. She broke it, and then she put it back together again. And it's, the reason I mention that is there's actually an artist from New Mexico who's become very famous doing exactly that. And uh, this is something she did long before he started doing that, so. And this show concludes when? This show concludes... On the 14th. 14th of April, after which we'll open with the David Shapiro show for the uh, Art Chicago Fair, which will be taking place over at the Merchandise Our hours are 10.30 to 5.30, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Okay.